Here are your top three AI stocks to watch for this week. NVIDIA, ARM, and AMD have been on fire for the past several weeks, but recently all three of these stocks have dropped, and we're going to be talking about each one of these in today's video. Three, two, one, let's fight! Starting off with my favorite and the first one on the list, we have NVIDIA, ticker symbol NVDA. You can see that over the past several weeks, this has been in a strong uptrend holding above this red SMA line, which shows our overall direction. And because we've been above the red SMA, red SMA line, we have been trading in an overall uptrend. But just recently, the other day, we saw last Thursday, the stock hit all-time highs at $141, but dropped all the way down to 130 area by Thursday afternoon and then Friday by end of market close we we're at 127. Now the stock recently did a 10 for 1 stock split which caused a huge rally but because of the rally and the anticipation of the post run up to the 10 for 1 stock split the stock ran out of steam and is starting to pull back now that we're seeing this pullback we're looking at a very very interesting price point and even if we pull back a little bit further you can see that overall we're still really really hot this thing has been running up for weeks and end and it has not stopped but Anytime there's been a big pullback, it's been followed by a strong correction and a higher high. So I'm watching this strongly because this is a huge pullback. We went from 140 down to 127 and then finished the day around 126. Now because of that, I want to watch NVIDIA this week to see if we can try and hold this 120 area. This is the last time that before we had a huge run up that we were trading kind of sideways. And we can draw this out for you guys real quick to kind of show you some support and resistance levels just really quickly just showing you like what I see when I'm trying to figure out when I'm going to be entering or exiting a trade. I like to draw out some different support and resistance levels to kind of just help me understand what I'm looking for. And just to quickly show you, this is what I'm looking at right here as easy support and resistance areas to be able to trade into. So boom, we can see right here, if we can't hold this 123 area, I like the odds that it pulls back into this 117 to 120 area and trades sideways for a little bit before correcting back up to the upside and continuing to run higher because anytime that we've seen a pullback and you can see it the past several months have been like this we've seen a strong pullback to the downside stable out and then a higher high and then a strong pullback we had a couple red days and then we started to rally strong pullback rally and then another strong pullback here rally strong pullback rally now we're seeing another pullback up here and that is really what's giving me the idea that nvidia is going to cool off there's going to be a pullback here and i think there's an opportunity to jump in on this if you're still on the sidelines because this was a 1400 dollars stock last week and now because they went through and did the 10 for one stock split is down to 140 dollars. so it's a lot better and a lot more accessible to those uh, retail traders or somebody that's just looking to pick up a few more shares and can't afford the $1,400 price point. So NVIDIA is a top pick this week. I want to watch this thing drop to around 117 to 123 in this range would be beautiful. Pick up some more shares here. If it continue, continues to drop, so be it. We, we continue to pick up more shares and average down. It's a great idea to average down anytime you're investing in the long term, but I think in the short term, it's also a great idea to watch NVIDIA because of these key support resistance areas that if we can hit the support area and bounce off this 123 or 120 area, we trade sideways for a couple days. I think you load up on shares in the short term because I think we see a huge run up and we blast through this high around 140. So NVIDIA, there's a lot to look at with this one, but I think that we had a huge pullback last week. You're going to want to keep watching this one. Now, similar to NVIDIA, we have arm it's partner in crime another one in the ai tech space that recently has been on a surge just like all the other names though 110 all the way up to 177 but last thursday and friday we had a little bit of a pullback here 177 at all-time highs this one pulled back all the way down to 152 this is an interesting one. I like this one to trade in the short term, but I also love it for the long term. But at this price point, I believe it's a little high right now. Arm, I think may have a couple more red days and we may see this back in the 140s. And like you saw in my last video about Arm, 140, 145, 150 is a great place to pick up some shares. And I'll continue to add more shares if it drops down to 130, 120. But I think that this one, look, we just saw it on Friday. It bounced off the support area. It's got to be able to at least hold that support, and if it doesn't, then this falls through and 
this price point here now turns into resistance okay so we gotta watch arm very closely this week to see if 150 can be held if it can be held then then it's support it's fine but if it can't be held then it turns into resistance and we gotta watch this one because this could get a little choppy and we could see a massive pullback down to the 120 area but i like arm even if you pull up the daily chart on this one you can see that over the past several days, it's been trading in an uptrend. It looks really, really good, and it's been performing very, very well. Because of that, we had all-time highs around this 179, but overall pullback in the AI space last Thursday and Friday caused these names to get a better deal if you're looking to jump in. This was a great one to trade. You can see that it tends to pop up to the upside throughout the morning and midday, which gives us opportunities to trade both to the upside and to the downside. So. It's a good one to trade. I like ARM both in the short term and long term. Again, you got to do your own due diligence and research. But this last one on the list here we got is AMD. Now, AMD is a name that's been in my portfolio for ages now. But I like AMD especially because this one is unlike the others. We're actually at a really good price point to pick up some long term shares. Okay. Unlike NVIDIA, unlike ARM that have rallied and are near or close to all time highs right now. AMD is actually the opposite. We're trading at around 160 here. We have all-time highs up in 220s, okay? This is a good discounted price, and based on the way the stock chart looks, it looks even better to pick up some shares. Again, the red SMA line, it tends to bounce when it gets close to that price point and then surge to the upside. And because it bounces near this red SMA line and has done in the past, what happened in the past kind of helps predict and help us determine our future. And because of that, AMD in this scenario really shows us that in the past this stock likes to follow this red 180 day SMA line and because of that it gives us the opportunity to add into some shares here for the short term for a big bounce because I think we're breaking through this support or this resistance area this is an area that we have struggled many times to break through and try and hold and because of that I think that this is a great area where we're going to see if we can break through 170 this is going to potentially 190 200 dollars easy okay there's a lot of gap here to be filled and because of that I like AMD in the short term to pick up some shares for this rally if we can hold this red sma line and stay above it and then break through 170 once 170 is broken and we run to the upside this is going to 190 200 easy and we could potentially see all-time highs but also this is a great one in the long term because it's at a discounted price it's at a better deal than nvidia and arm in my opinion and it's a great long-term name to have in your portfolio you want to diversify especially in the ai and semiconductor space you got a bunch of names out there i like the three nvidia arm and amd guys let me know what you guys think about these three names in the comments below let me know what you guys are going to be watching for this week if you guys are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button like comment and share and i'll see you guys in the next video